Well, hello and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea here in Ireland over in Europe. And we're going back through the archives of the Telegraph newspaper and we're pulling out here uh, puzzle number 5557 from the 16th of July 2021. And it is termed as a diabolical Sudoku. Now, as always, we do it in two parts. Part one, we use basic solving techniques to see if we can do it. If we can't manage it, then we go on to the more advanced ones. And the advanced ones then will be in video two. So if you want to play along, or if you want to just uh, try it yourself and zip to the end of this, and you'll see how far I got. And then if you can finish it, be sure and put in some comments down below explaining how you do it because uh, it's great for not only for myself but also for other viewers to see how people solve these puzzles so anyway this is what we have here and I've just noticed that um, three of the columns only have one cell solved and there's also one row with only one cell and you know there's two rows with only one cell and two rolls with only two cells. I have a feeling this will not be as easy as the last two that we did, which turned out to be somewhat too easy. Now I'm using Sven Sudoku uh, pad here as the software. It's handy, I find it very handy. It makes life a little bit easier. If you click, double click on a cell with a, um, a solution in it, it'll show all of the cells with that solution. And that makes it easier to go looking for other uniques and Snyder pairs and things like that. Okay, so for example, we can see we can't have a one here, we can't have a one here, leaving three cells, but at the moment we're only looking for whether there's a unique or whether there's a pair of cells that can have the candidate in it. So back here again, we can see we can't be here, we can't be here. That means we're gonna stick in a unique, uh, what are we doing, one in here. And try it again. Well, can't have it there and we can't have it over this way. So this now is a Snyder pair that we put in here of ones. And this way we can't have it there and we can't have it this way. So we have a Snyder pair of ones here. Now this is a, an interesting one because it shows where we can't have it in the house, but it also means that in terms of this row, we have one either in this cell or this cell. So we can't have it anywhere else in this row, which means that one there cannot be a one, which means this now then becomes the one. That's it for the ones. Let's go on and find some twos now. Well, down here at the bottom, it can't be along there or here, so we have a Snyder pair of twos in here. And where are the threes up here? Well, can't have it across there, can't have it down there, can't have it down here, so we have a Snyder pair of threes here. Now that's all I can see for the threes. Where's there four? There's a four. Oh, just the one four. Right, I'm not going to be great, I'd say. Nope, have to go on to the fives. Not across here, not across here, not down here, which means this one must be the five and not a three, which means this one down here must be the three. Now, if we come down this way, you can't have it here, can't have it here. And because of this one, you can't have it there. So we get another unique five in here. Now it can't be across there. It can't be down here. So this is where we'll have a Snyder pair of fives. Pointing pair as well, but that doesn't help us in this case. Well, over here, can't have it this way, can't have it this way, and we can't have it over here. So Snyder pair of fives up there. That's all we can do with the fives, I think. So onto the sixes. Well, over here, we can't have it on the top. We can't have it here. So we're going to have a Snyder pair of, what are we doing, sixes in there. Well, not across here and not down here. So we get a unique six in here. And that'll help us over here because we can't have it over there, there, or so we get a Snyder pair of sixes. This is like calling bingo. Not there, not there. Going to be in one of these two places. Okay, on to sevens. Well, not there, not there, not here. So this is where the Snyders go here for seven. And it looks like we get something else down here as well. Not across there, not across there. So in these two places here, we now have a seven. 
Now this is interesting, it's also called a conjugate pair or a double. So we know that in this house, we're going to have two and seven somewhere between here and here, and also on the row. So just to keep things straight for myself, I color green for the houses and blue for rows. And we're doing sevens. Well, this way, can't be up there, can't be down here. So it's going to be either here or here for our seven. Okay, on to eights now. And straightforward enough, not there or there. So it's going to be either here or here. Eight, wasn't it? And if we come down this way, it can't be there. So it's going to be in one of these two places now for the eights. Okay, where's nine? Well, okay, this way can't be there, can't be here. Now we already know that two or seven is in here. So both of these cells have been sorted. So this is the only one that's left. And that now must be the nine. And continuing, not there, not there. So it's either one of these two will have the nine. Okay, now we put in a couple there, so I think it's as well to go back over them again and just check them all out again. So starting with the ones, not looking good, five. Okay, well, we can't have it there or here, so that's where the fives will be. Now, this is a pointing pair, as we mentioned before, so that means we can't have a five here. And this then becomes the unique five for that house. That's all the fives done. Sixes. Ooh, we're running out of stuff. Sevens. Okay, that seems to be it. That's our, we've gone through them all twice and haven't found anything extra. There's a couple of fives, but I don't think there's any other changes for us. Oh, there is, like down here. We only have two cells left now here to solve because we know that these two will be a two or seven. So these two are going to be another conjugate pair and we can work out what goes in there. Well, we have the one, we have the two here or here, we have three. So four is missing. We have five, six, and we have seven here and eight is missing. So that's going to be a four, eight conjugate pair and it'll only be a pair for the house. So that's, ha that's that house more or less finished. I think the only thing we can do now is start looking at rows and columns and see if we can uh, find any hidden things in there. So that's the next thing we're going to do. Well, to do the rows and columns, I start looking for, you see, we've done houses now so far. So we'll just by doing rows and columns, we look at things from a different perspective and then we might find some uniques or conjugate pairs or something like that. So I'm looking for rows and columns that have three cells yet to be sorted. So for example, here we have three, there's one, two, three. Uh, we'll just key in there into the center what's missing. We have one, two, three, we're missing four. We have five, six, seven, and we're missing eight and nine. Now looking at this one, four, eight, nine, that's okay. Can't Nothing can be got rid of. Here we have a nine that we can get rid of. And here, 489, stairs 489, so nothing there. Here's another one. We have three. It's actually this and these two. One, two, three, four there. I'll just have a quick look at that one. We already have the 48 here, so that's correct. Oh, that means we're going to have a 4848. Um, right, let's, let me put in the rest of them here. It's going to be, we have one. We don't have two. We have three. We don't have four four we have five six we have one we don't have two we have three we don't have four we have five six we don't have seven or eight and we have nine so looking at this one here two four seven eight no change there and up here two four seven eight no change but this four eight that was interesting the four eight and the four eight so we put those in as a conjugate pair on the uh, column so that four eight will tie in with this one and we color that red for a column okay which means i can get rid of this one now 
Now, since we have a 4, 8, 4 here as a conjugate pair, it means we can't have 4, 8 and 4, 8 in these two. Now, if you haven't done conjugate pairs, there is a tutorial down below on it. Uh, see the term conjugate pairs or doubles. Have a look at that one now. Quite important. So we get rid of the 4, 8 in those two, which means this conjugate pair is made up of 2, 7. Right, so that was that one. Any other ones to do? We've got one, two, three, four, five, too many. One, two, three, uh, there's four here. Uh, this one, three, four, six, nine. There's no three, four, six, nine. Nothing there. This one, three, four, six, nine. We have a nine here, and that seems to be all we have. And this three, four, oh, three, four, six. We have three, four, six. So that's a nine there you go now that gives us a nine and that nine well let's get rid of it out of here nine out of there it means we don't have a nine down here which means this is the nine for the house now let's just check the nines again well can't be over there can't be over here can't be up there so we have a two nine sniders here Well, that's it on the nines. Now, I'm not sure where, <laughs> where I was before this and uh, what I was doing. I was doing rows and columns, wasn't I? Yeah, so after all of that, are there any new rows or columns that just have three or four waiting to be... F There's one. This has just got three on it. One, two, three, and we're into the middles. And we don't have uh, one or two, we have three, four, five, six, seven, and we don't have eight. This one here, one, two, eight, we have a one up there at the top, and that's all that comes in here. This one here, one, two, eight, no, we don't have one, two, or eight, or anything else. This one here, we have one. Well, looking across here, we now have a, a Snyder, whoops, those two is a Snyder pair on 2 8 and that is on a row and that being a Snyder pair means that we can't have a 2 8 here so if we take the 2 8 out of there we're left with a 1 and I've just seen a mistake I have an 8 here so we can't have an 8 there which means that one must be the 2 and if that one's the 2 this one then must be the 8 so let's have a quick look at the 2's well, yes, we can't have two there. We can't have two there. So a Snyder pair of twos in here. And else, well, yes, not over there, not over here. And so we have a Snyder pair of twos up there. Okay, and the other one we put in where the one, well, believe it or not, it doesn't make much difference. We can't have the one there, nor there, nor there. So we have a Snyder pair of ones in here. And the eight. I want to check on something. I'm not sure if this is right here because if you can't have the 8 down there it would mean that this must be the 8 and that one must be the 4. Give me a second to check. Did I do that right with the 4, 8, the 4, 8 and the 2, 7, 2, 7? Just give me a second, will you? Yes, my logic there was correct. So that 8 there means that this is the cell now to hold the 8. And if that is the ace, then this one down here must be the four. And we know now that it can't have an eight in there. And again, because of that, we can't have an eight there. We can't have an eight there. Well, that's already taken. So this one here must be the ace at this stage. Where is my ace? There we go. Now that was linked up with someone and I can't remember what it was linked up with. But anyway, left over here now we have to have a 4, 6, isn't it? Yes. And that is for the house and it's also for the row. And you know what, if that's a 4, 6, 4, 6, then you can't have a 4 here or here. So this 2 here must now be a 3, 8 because that's all that's left there. And that's only for the house. We picked up a little few things there, didn't we? This 4 here now means that that can't be a 4 in there. I'll get rid of the 3 as well. Um, that'll have to be a 3 8, but it looks what. So that it tie up with this one over here. And that is purely for a row. 
in terms of a conjugate pair. Ah, uh, look at that. I should have looked at this before. We have an eight up there. That one, that one there now must be a three. I've gone all around the houses, haven't I? Which means that one there must be an eight. And if that's an eight, then that one there must be a three. Well, that got a little bit out of the way, didn't it? I really should be going back now and just checking a few things to see if it's left anything else. For example, up here now we have a conjugate pair left and the conjugate pair is going to be four, six. And that is purely on the column. And have we anything else? Just looking at these three here that are left over. Uh, we have one, we have two. We're missing three. Uh, we're missing four, five. Uh, we have six, we have seven, and we're missing eight. So in terms of these three here, I've got something wrong there. Of course, uh, three should not be in there. This one here, we already have an eight up at the top. This one, we have a five. And this one here, we have a four. So it's a four, five, four, eight, five, eight, which means we have two fours here. Right, that cleans up that row now a little bit nicer. And we've got three left here for both, the, well, more than the house, for the column anyway, there's three left. And the three are, we have, oh, we have a two, seven at the bottom. So there are actually four missing there. So one, we're missing two. Now in this one here, we can get rid of the seven. There's something wrong there now. Because if we look at, the, okay, I'll come back to that one. Yeah, we only have two missing here. And the two that are missing are, we have one, two, three, we're missing four, we have five, six, seven, eight, and we're missing nine. So that's a four, nine. Now I must admit, I am a bit stumped at this stage. And the only other technique I can think of is looking at a house and then within that house looking at the empty cells and see how that house reacts with the rows and columns so for example these three houses are they're defined nothing more to be done there this house has been done because we already checked those two so we have that 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 and that this one's got three in it, three in it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six there. That would be how that interacts with other ones. So if we look at this cell here, we already have one, three, five, six, eight, nine. One, and we already have three, five, six, eight, nine. So that doesn't do any interaction down here on this one. No good. Let's go back over here. Uh, this one here, we have two five seven eight nine so that's four uh, possibles or candidates and we're only adding another one onto it down from down here and uh, another one here no that's not going to do anything this one here we have four candidates there we have three down below that gives us seven and another one here gives us eight that's a possibility uh, however the eight's already here and the nine's already here so there's nothing new coming out of that one uh, this one here we have again we have our original one two okay this is what I'm trying to do you've got one two three four five uh, leaving us so we have five already that we can't have then if we look down the column there's another three here that we have so theoretically that will bring that up to eight and across here we have another four so that brings us above the threshold of nine or of eight but then when you look at them, the eight is duplicated, the nine is duplicated, the five is duplicated, we already have the two. So this row adds nothing to what the, the, uh, the column is already adding. And we don't get anything extra in there. Look, I'll just keep on going through them. I'll come back to you if I find anything, all right? Oh, okay. This is, this, this we have a hidden unique in here. Uh, and the hidden unique is a one. So if we look at it, looking at the house, we have, we'll just do it quickly. We're looking at the house. We have, we're missing the one. We have the two, we're missing the three. We have the four, we're missing the five. We have the six, we're missing the seven, we're missing the nine. Then we have the five over here. So we get rid of the five. 
and we have the three down here and the seven down here three and seven left with the one and there we put in a unique one now oh look that one get rid of that one over there which gives us a one up here that one there will get rid of this one down here and uh, making this one over here the one and that is all the ones done at this stage that was handy oh let's just get rid of these colors first and there's something strange in this house here i've got a single two there oh yeah that two that two so that is the unique two for that that house and there's something strange here we have a four five so this should be a four five but there's a four there which means that is the five that has to be the five for this column and if that's the five then this one down here must be the four and if that's the four then this one here is not the four that means that we only have the single five down here that has to be the five for this house and if that's the five then this one here must be the eight oh the five up there i forgot to get rid of that five there that has to go now we have uh, actually we've got three here uh, what's missing there i think is six eight nine yeah six eight nine and we still have six eight nine here six eight nine here six oh well, look at that we have a six eight so that was a hidden unique nine and i'll get rid of these then become six eights and that is in the house and in the column hmm we're getting through a lot of stuff now aren't we and there's only two more left now in here and uh, what are the two that can go in there that's a four nine and again it has to be in the house and in the column and if that's a four nine four nine we have a four nine four nine there so what is up here oh that nine means that there can't be a nine so get rid of that nine so it's going to be seven something same as in here what's left for going in here for this conjugate pair it's going to be three seven and that is three seven for the house and it's also three seven for the column you know what i think we're getting very close to the stage of having to put in all the possibles now aren't we and here we have it here are all the candidates that are outstanding quite a lot of binary cells in there and i've updated the snyder values around the place um like for example there was two threes here there was a two three here uh four six okay we've finished video one and this is what you're going to be starting on with video two uh i see a couple of chains but no doubt uh, you'll see much nicer ones and i thought the solution there last week um oh i can't remember which one was uh where it was all binaries bar one and you can get rid of uh yeah that was a, that was a brilliant solution really really fantastic so neat and simple and clean and i've no doubt that somebody's going to come up with another neat solution for this but anyway look hope you've enjoyed it um if you did don't forget to do the thumbs up comments positive comments especially are very much very much appreciated um subscribe and click the bell so that you find out automatically when part two comes around and it should be coming around in probably not this afternoon it'll probably take me about a day to um digest this and try and work out what we have to do next look thanks for watching much appreciated and till the next time slan tumble